Meantime, the Ministry of Tourism is continuing its efforts to promote Grand Bahama for the summer months. In doing so, officials are working to ensure visitors have the ultimate cultural experience while on the island. Megan Shepard reports. General Manager of the Grand Bahama Tourism Office, Stephen Johnson, noting that the two-day training sessions were extremely successful in an effort to spread the message of new and existing health and safety protocols for those involved in the tourism industry. Thousands of residents participated at three locations and via online platforms in order to observe social distancing measures. Johnson says that a number of presenters shared valuable information. The, the training has just been fantastic. We've had uh, thousands online yesterday we've had uh, we have three locations where people can come physically in the morning and in the evening and they've all been filled up we have uh, doctors we have persons from uh, environmental health we have our Ministry of Tourism personnel who are even talking about uh, questions to address when if they are approached by tourists um, you know people don't they they're not here to hear about COVID but, um, you know, obviously with our cab drivers, we want them to basically talk about the beauty of the Bahamas and Grand Bahama, the things we have to offer here, and not focus so much on the COVID-19 question. And so this training basically is geared towards putting everybody in check for, uh, for the new reality. And, uh, and I, I believe Grand Bahama is, uh, is ready to move forward. And, uh, and this is what we're, we're doing today is make sure everybody's uh, on track. Johnson says that based on feedback, international bookings are already looking promising. The Director General has informed us that in looking back at persons um, that are looking to book the Bahamas is very positive. Um, that these people want to come to the Bahamas. One of the number one reasons for them coming into the Bahamas is for beach. And so um, um, there's, there seem to be no concerns uh, so far about... I mean, they know that the Bahamas has very low COVID rates. And in talking with some of the travel agents in Canada and the U.S., they are excited to come here to visit Grand Bahama and to visit the Bahamas in general. Um, obviously, they feel very comfortable with the Bahamas. And, uh, and that's a sure sign we have to represent uh, when they get here. Now, during this pandemic, many Bahamians have questioned the country's dependency on the tourism sector. Johnson says he believes that this island will indeed rebound and that tourism is here to stay. We are resilient. Uh, we, can saw, we saw from the other monster that came here uh, a few several months ago uh, to where we are right now with uh, COVID-19. And we, we already see the, the positive numbers coming as the Director General shared with us. And um, this, is, this is what we do. And so we've got to show the world how we're going to represent and how we're going to get back on top in the Caribbean um, again. So we, we, this is our baby, and uh, we will to make sure that Grand Bahama is on top, make sure that everybody's ready. And uh, we, will, we, will, we will do the kind of things we need here as far as our festivals will come back here. Um, but we need people walking around again and uh, basically seeing Grand Bahama uh, in their own special way. Now, based on the overwhelming feedback, Johnson says that he believes they will host more seminars next week.